So you have frogs in your yard and you want to move them out. Here are ways to safely capture, relocate, and prevent frogs from coming back to your property. You can catch frogs by hand or by using a tight knit net that can easily be found in a dollar store. Either way, don't forget to wear gloves or some form of protection since frogs can carry salmonella. Like this guy should be wearing gloves, but I digress. First of all, make sure that any predators, including your pets, are inside before getting started. Get a deep container or a pail and put some mud or wet paper towel in the bottom. Put on a pair of gloves and scoop up the frog. Hold it by the legs or around the arms without squishing it. Just don't hold it too tight or around the belly. This can hurt its internal organs. Just be very careful when handling frogs because they are fragile creatures. Now release the frog ideally 25 meters or 80 feet, but under 100 meters or 330 feet from where it was found. Try to release the frog as quickly as possible and under one hour in order to minimize stress. And don't worry if it pees on you, it's just afraid and trying to fend you off as a predator. And just to reassure you, frog pee doesn't give you warts. Anyway, you're wearing gloves, right? All right, choose a shaded, safe area to leave the frog that is far away from predators. Do not move the frog to another area of town since it will try to find its way back and will more than likely die in the process, especially if it has to cross any roads. Do not capture frogs or try to move them right before they hibernate. This is especially the case if you live in Canada or in the northern states of the US. Hibernation periods do depend on the species, but avoid moving frogs between October and May. No matter what, you should contact your local animal control department for more information about what types of frogs you have in your yard and what you can legally do with them in your jurisdiction. It may be illegal to capture certain frogs and relocate them where you live. So check out the links in the description below for the phone numbers that you could call to get location-specific information that is tailored to your needs. Keep in mind that toads and frogs can be awesome for lawn and garden care in general since they eat pests and rodents, including mosquitoes and mice. But if you are determined to keep frogs off of your property altogether, here are some things that you can do. You can stop frogs from entering your backyard by putting up tight, smooth, solid fencing around your yard that is at least 50 centimeters or 20 inches above ground. Get rid of anything that attracts frogs in your backyard, like small bodies of water, including ponds and garden fountains. Remove anything that retains moisture and could shelter frogs like deep planters. Place those planters on concrete instead of on grass. And also make sure your pool is covered when it's not in use. And make sure it's hard to access for frogs since it's not uncommon for them to lay their spawn in swimming pools. If you are unsure if you have toads or frogs in your yard, check out the links in the description below. We have some really cool guides for both as well as frog and toad identification charts. We also have an article specifically about toads in window wells. So if that's a problem you have, check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe. This channel is all about toads and frogs.